G'day guys, welcome back. Real quick little video. I've got one tile left, lucky last. And uh, I thought I'm just gonna do a quick little pour, little bloom. I'm nearly out of pillow paint. I was just about to turn everything off and leave the studio and I thought, oh, I'm just gonna do one more. So let's do that. I'm nearly out of pillow paint. As I said, this is my last tile. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with some just turquoises and a, a copper and a gold. Actually, I might change that to the lighter gold, seeing I'm using copper. Like that. Okay. Uh, let's start with this is like a turquoisey colour. And then. The copper. These are all Joe Sonia's paints. They're mixed two parts paint to one part pouring medium. I'm going to give them a bit of a shake. Hey, I haven't used these colours today. Oh, the gold I have. I don't need to shake that one. did make the gold thicker for not the last pour but the one before that so hopefully it's not too thick a little bit of cell activator all righty let's blow Try and get a little bit more of that white to go over that one. Okay. Phew, that will do. Hope you can see the copper afterwards, after we've tilted, because it's all hidden at the moment. Oh, I'm still, still playing with my consistencies, you know. I make my cell activator a little bit thicker. And then a bit thinner and but I just did a little test you know putting um, the pillow paint the colored paint and the cell activator on the tile and tilted it uh, and it looks good like it really does it looks as it the way it should uh, the pillow being the thickest I'm just adding more flow troll to my cell activator while this is sitting there contemplating what it's going to do it just didn't seem to glide as well as I would have liked I like it to you know really glide over the top um, and then the cells can come through so if it's a bit thick it won't do that so it's just a bit of still trial and error um, I did three parts flow troll to one part Amsterdam and then I made it thicker. I did two and a half. Um, now I've added a bit more flow troll so it's kind of back to three to one. So that was my tilting. That was the pillow. I poured the same size blob of each. That was the red. That's the cell activator and I tipped them. And you can see that that's the thickest, that's the middle and that's the thinnest. And that's how it's supposed to be. So if you're not sure, do that little test. Okay, last one for today. Actually for the weekend. Saturday today. I'll wait till Monday and I'll go out to 
Bunnings and get some more pillow paint and some more flow troll. Need to get a new hose. My husband cut the soaker hose in half with the uh, lawn mower the other day and then he went off to work <laughs> for two weeks so now I've got to fix it. Oh, there comes the copper. Now, keep this, so I'd rather have that bit go off. But I don't want to lose all of it. See, I like that the banding there. I quite like that. Adds a bit of interest. Otherwise, you wouldn't really see the copper, would you? Back to the middle. Actually, it's not quite the middle. Just put the weight of the paint where you want it to go, basically. And keeping the copper, little bits of copper. These are really pretty, you guys. Nice colour combination. I wasn't sure. So I've got about 20 colours made up now, and I just thought, oh, what can I do for my last one? What can I do? Before I clean up. So I think I've done oh, maybe eight of these today. I was only going to do the four that I told you about on the last video and then I, I got back up again because I wanted to try gold. And uh, yeah, the gold, did you see the last video? The gold with the, the red and the magenta and the dark in purple, they, they worked really nicely together. I'm surprised it didn't actually get orange because usually gold and you know red will give you orange, but it didn't get any. Now this wavy bit down here is a bit much. So he needs to go, be minimized a little bit. Go! What are you standing around for? Go! It doesn't want to go. Oh, it's not helping, is it? Sticking my fingers in it. Go! Okay. Yeah, it just looked a bit weird. Let's go back to the middle. So as you can see from my style of bloom, I don't really get you know, the petal look like some people get, but I guess we all have our own sort of signature way of pouring, of painting, and uh, I guess this is mine. I don't have petals as such. I'm just going to try and get that last little bit of turquoise off there. The point can stay, I just didn't want that other little piece that was just bugging me. So it just comes down to, you know, your composition, what you like. So yeah, this is um, obviously my, my signature way of doing blooms. I don't know if that's a bubble or if there's something in there. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Right, I think I've got it the way I want it. Got a little bit of background there. You can still see the copper. You can see the gold. So once it's dry, it's going to look really, really pretty, isn't it? Put that on there. I didn't even put gloves on. Let me wipe my hands. <laughs> I've got a cloth here. <clears throat> so when you use um, the white, like next to a lighter colour, like the gold for this instance, um, the white kind of disappears and the gold takes over as your lacing creator, I guess. So that's what it's done in this case. Oops, it's just a bubble. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. 
because I've lost my tweezers. Okay. Oh, well, that's really pretty. I'm glad I did one more. I will show you these once they've dried. And you can see them shiny. And I may actually put um, a coat of varnish on a few of them just to see how the varnish goes. Let's go around. Oh, I'm exhausted. Exhausted. <laughs> exhausted. I say that. Um, and my kids say that too now. It's weird. The things that they hear when they're growing up. Okay, let's zoom in. Now, the gold doesn't look very much chop at the moment, or the copper, but once it dries, it will be amazing. And I've got my four, <coughs> excuse me, my four white corners that I love with these little designs that I do. I do. I don't know, I just like the, the white on the corners. Um, I'll show you the others that I've done. These, that one I did, that was the last one. That was, that's also the gold. I know it just looks yellow. That was the double blossom that I did. Mm, that one was earlier this morning. It's drying. That one was earlier this morning. Uh, that one I didn't video, but that was just testing colours. Um, Thinamix, these two. Thinner colour mix, they are. And then these ones, well, you've seen those pop up on Facebook groups. They're all dry now and looking gorgeous. I think that's my favorite <laughs> yeah they look they're all pretty they're just nice colors aren't they so that's how they dry I haven't had any cracks or anything like that so far so so far so good and there we go with this little guy I really do like these colors though mm, yummy yummy okay that'll do me for today I'll be back no doubt with another video uh, please remember to like and subscribe and share my videos if you could I'd love them to get out there and more people see them and um, yeah don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll get notified when I put up a new video if you so wish to follow me and watch my videos please do so all right love you all I will see you real soon okay bye for now